environmental science second standard a1 and a2 term 3 unit 3 part 2 hello students how are you all today we are learning environmental science unit 3 part 2 before we learn the lesson let's have a small prayer our most gracious loving heavenly father Thank you for this good day. Thank you for the protection throughout the past day. Lord Jesus, we submit this day unto thine care and keeping. Bless all the students. Give them good knowledge, wisdom and understanding above as they are going to learn the lesson. With these few mercies, we are asking in the most holy and precious name, our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Today we are learning road safety. Students, on the road you especially find traffic lights. Why the traffic lights are kept near the roads? Because traffic lights are used to control the movement of traffic. They are placed on the roads at intersections and crossings. The different colors of lights tell drivers what to do. The first color red means stop. Now, so what is the meaning of yellow color? It means proceed with caution. That means you have to wait and green color means go ahead always use the footpath for walking if there is no footpath make sure that the road is to your right let us learn some road safety rules. While riding a motorcycle, always wear a helmet. While driving a car, use the seat belt and drive within speed limit. Do not run across the road. Never go alone on the road. Always go with an elder. Use the foot over bridge or subway to cross the road. If there are none, use the pedestrian crossing that is zebra crossing cross when the traffic symbol of a person walking turns green in order to be safe we have to start early drive slowly and reach safely at some places the road and the train track meet it is called a level crossing never try to cross it when the gates are closed let us learn some common and important road signs we see many different signs on the roadside. So, let us find out what does the symbol means. The first one is school zone. That means that place you have to drive very slow. The next one is unmained level crossing. That means you have to be very careful while crossing the next one is 
pedestrian crossing that means you have to cross in this certain signal side only we find this symbol near the bus stop that means bus stops here the next one is level crossing that means you have to check before you cross and this symbol is do not horn that means you should not horn here should not make sound the next one is no parking that means you should not park your vehicle here the next one is h which means hospital zone you should not horn here also the next one is u turn that means the vehicles are allowed to u turn choose and write the correct answer for the below sentences you have to find the correct answer and fill up the blank the first one is the road sign shown here means that a dash is nearby a hospital zone b school zone c bus stop so what is the correct answer school zone the second one is this road sign indicates a dash a a bus stop b no parking c level crossing so what is the right answer c level crossing evaluation who am i tick the right answer for the below sentence you have to choose the right answer and tick a i can run without fuel the answer is bicycle i can stop at all stations passenger train super fast express the answer is passenger train c i fly in the sky with a few people aeroplane or helicopter the answer is helicopter d i can travel both on a lake and a river boat or ship it is a boat the next one identify the incorrect pair based on the mode of transport and put a tick mark a ship and sailboat these two are waterways so this is the correct pair the second one helicopter and aeroplane these are the aircrafts they fly in the air so this is also correct pair c bicycle and lorry so these are the vehicles on the roadways so this is also correct d car coracle this is the incorrect pair because car moves on road whereas coracle moves in the water write two actions that you should not do on the road so the first one is do not run across the road b never go alone on the road always go with an elder
टिक द वहीकल्स दैट मूव यूजिंग फ्यूल सो फॉर बिलो पिक्चर्स वी हैव टू पुट टिक द वहीकल विच यूजेस फ्यूल द फर्स्ट वन इज कार सो इट यूजेस फ्यूल सेकेंड वन इज लॉरी सो इट ऑल्सो यूजेस फ्यूल द थर्ड वन इज बाइसाइकल इट डजेंट यूज फ्यूल द नेक्स्ट वन इज हेलीकॉप्टर दिस वन ऑल्सो यूजेस फ्यूल एंड द नेक्स्ट पिक्चर इज शिप शिप ऑल्सो यूजेस फ्यूल एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज बस बस ऑल्सो यूजेस फ्यूल द नेक्स्ट वन इज कोराकल दिस डजेंट यूज एनी फ्यूल द नेक्स्ट वन इज एम्बुलेंस दिस ऑल्सो यूजेस फ्यूल एंड द लास्ट पिक्चर इज कार्ट दिस वन डजेंट यूज फ्यूल observe think and tick the correct actions for the below pictures you have to find out which is correct action and which is wrong the first one is people crossing over foot over bridge so this is the correct action in the next picture you see two school girls are crossing the level crossing even the train is moving on the track so this is the wrong action in this first picture some group of people together moving in the motor boat carefully so this is the correct action in the next one a girl is playing with the water while she is moving in the boat and this is the wrong action in this picture if you see many people are walking on the road even though there are so many vehicles they are not using foot over bridge so this is the wrong action in the next picture if you see all the vehicles are stopped on the road when the road signal is given to stop so this is the right action so students let us do self evaluation so what we have learnt in the lesson a different modes of transport and safety rules so what we should do we should always follow the road safety rules in order to be safe so today's assignment is the first one choose and write the correct answer for the below sentence you have to choose the correct answer and fill up the blanks the next one who am i tick the right answer for the below sentence you have to find the correct answer and put tick the next one is identify the incorrect pair based on the mode of transport and put a tick mark so here you have to tick incorrect pair based on the mode of transport the next one is write two actions that you should not do on the road the next one tick the vehicles that move using fuel so you have to put tick the vehicles which uses fuel and the last one 
observe think and tick the correct actions so you have to see the picture and observe which action is right and put the tick okay students go through the lesson thoroughly and complete your assignments on time so we will be meeting in the next class till then stay safe stay healthy take care thank you